Ladies and gentlemen, hello, how are you doing? In my previous video, we took a look at the video. Damn, if this thing runs so nice on Vista Extra Lite, how would it then run on Windows XP Maxi Lite? The one that we used at that time for these old Pentium 2s. Remember in my previous videos? So that is what I wanted to show you today. So uh, we're going to take a look at the Toshiba. It's here again. There we go. We open the screen and we turn it on. Let's bring some extra light here. This what you're looking at is a real-time boot, of course. And I installed Maxi Lite, Windows XP Maxi Lite on it. The look and feels uh, are kind of... Yeah, you will see it in a second. Here you go, as you can see uh, I gifted of course the leading innovation wallpaper of Toshiba. Of course we have our dock back, this thing is always in all my configurations I have this. This is kinda, this is like my desktop, I always have this desktop. And uh, you can see that the system looks a little bit modern, with the, but you all know that that is a little theme. So how much space do we now have? Well, I will tell you something, peeps. I installed uh, certain uh, apps already. And... Properties. And to tell you the honest truth, this is an 8 gigabyte hard drive. It's 7.85 gigabyte. I'm not sure if you can read it there. Let me read it a little bit closer there. I'm sure you... You trust me right so um, this drive is only 8 gigabyte and from the 8 gigabyte um, we have only two in use 1.92 gigabyte is in use and we have free space almost 6 gigabytes peeps think of it 6 gigabytes okay and what did I already install on this darling well, she has internet, as you as you know, thanks uh, to the little Wi-Fi stick of RT, the RT2500 from Ralink. But I have for you installed Camtasia Studio, of course version number 2, K-Lite Mega Codec Pack. I have installed Magix Music Maker Basic Edition. I have installed WinAmp. I installed WinRAR. And I installed Chameleon. Also installed SM Player. SM Player, my friends, is also a good VCD player. You know, uh, old machines like these uh, could not run, yeah, DVDs, etc. I think that was, yeah, maybe they could, but um, they were better in playing VCDs. And with the SM Player, if you get that one, you can play VCDs with that one. It's a fantastic uh, uh, player to play VCDs with. Okay, so. What did I do? Well, I already created a song last night. Oh, this one. I created this song in this machine, huh? This is my new style. It's called Trans Rock Cabin. That's the style. Listen to it. This is the intro. I still have to make the lyrics for it. Come on, baby. Yeah. Uh. It's your boy, Channel 48. Oh. 
just think of what you could all sing on this. This is a fantastic song. Of course, I created it with my own samples, uh, with Magic's Music Maker Basic Edition. Yep, yep. And uh, I saw on the website of uh, Magic's that they changed the rules. I think it was after seeing my video. <laughs> they changed the rules now. You can buy the, the sample package for 25 euros and these are royalty free uh, uh, samples. So you can kind of do the same thing with uh, these samples as with, uh, with, with GarageBand. You see? So I created this song yesterday. In, uh, so I, in fact I, made, I created a, a music creator of this thing. You see that? Look how, look how fast it loads, loads the tracks. You see, this is the song I made last night. So no CD, CD Baby or some stupid music. Music label should come and put complaint because I'm gonna sue them so hard. Because these guys are also using these samples. You know, and then they come and claim it uh, as if they owe the sample. It's not the, not from them. You cannot claim nothing if you work with samples. Everybody can use the samples. Not because you hear some sample in some song, then it's your song. The samples are for the users, and they can use it. As soon as you see royalty-free means everybody can use it. So make no mistake. If you have musicians just like me and they play a song, then you can copyright every note of it. If you if you if you thought of the notes. What can you do more with this thing? Well, you know, I'm a big fan of ATC uh ATC radio, so I get the I download the I download the, the links, you know, as a little file, as a Winamp a player file, and you know, I just have Winamp. To connect to these uh, to these live uh, ATC centers, this is this is KDC. I think this is California. You know, because you don't have so much memory, you must try to close programs that you're not using. So if you think I'm going on the internet now, then just close whatever you're not using. Okay, that's how to use. That's the way to go. I think for all the computers. You see, boom, we are on Google. Uh, can you play YouTube videos? No, of course not. They are still crappy. Uh, I mean, like choppy, not crappy, choppy. So they don't play too too well. But you see, you can read the news. You can go on eBay. You can you know do certain things. But don't try to do, as I already said in my previous video, things that you should not do. So in fact, you see, it's it's kind of slow. You can try full screen. I mean, like, if you have really nothing to look, then maybe you could you could still have fun because the sound is good eh? so I think videos uh, uh, sound videos sound videos you can uh, you can watch it's always also hard to get away from a site like this I just click away the browser you know you should not do things like that with this machine Nice, eh? Hey, <laughs> listen to this. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on.
hey, 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 I'm not gonna make this song any longer because, you know, if some producers see this song, they're gonna steal it from me, man. Well, I don't have to tell you uh, and show you more. I think it's very obvious that that this thing can uh, really create music for 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 everybody. You know, if you have your new computer and you don't want to, you know, and you still have this old laptop lying around out there, you know, check out my list of you know these old uh, uh, projects that I'm doing. You know, how you can still use your machine and you know let it work for you and make fantastic music for you and 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 do fantastic things for you um yeah instead of letting it die somewhere in the corner you know if you're not really creative give it to somebody else that is creative and let them still enjoy these old uh, fantastic beautiful laptops of the past thanks again for watching if you like this project please like subscribe next video will of course be as promised uh, the creation of Vista Light and how you can do it really easy with a preset file and with Feelight, the fantastic software of Dino Nuvi. Until then.